My name is Ramona Martinez and I'm a former member of Denver City Council. Well, I, I got into politics when I uh, worked, volunteered and worked for uh, Sam Sandoz when he was running for city council. I was uh, at that time a stay-at-home mom and infor unfortunately he lost his first election, but uh, he put my name into the state party, Democratic Party, and said they needed a voter registration vice chair. I learned a lot that year about politics. I learned how important it was to get people registered to vote. And I mean, I traveled all over the state. And that sort of just started my career. I saw the good that could be done. But most importantly, I saw what you could do as a legislator. And if you're at the table, you can make changes. And during the times that I was elected was the time that the city was really seeing the changes that our Mayor Pena wanted to make at the time. The building of the airport, the convention center, downtown housing, Coors Field, all that was going on during the time that I was president of city council. So I had a, a great deal of responsibility. Knowing the issues and knowing the background of the Chicano movement really helped. And you know, in the 60s when the riots started, we were there. In the 70s, we were part of organizations like the American GI Forum and other organizations that were trying to improve uh, uh, Hispanic, Latino issues. I think the young people that are involved today, I think unfortunately they don't really know the history. They have no idea what we went through. Chicanas had to show that they had the, uh, to get things done. We really did. That's when we said, no more, no mas. We were going to get ourselves out of that and we were going to be part of the movement. I think the most professional contribution I made was to show that we could, as a Latino, a Latinas, could be in the same world that had been dominated by males all the time. By showing leadership, by showing strength, and most of all by not being selfish. One thing that I did uh, that most people don't ever hear about or anything is I brought community of uh, so, uh, service providers together in my council district. I think that was probably one of the most successful things that I accomplished to help the children and families in my district. I worked with Habitat for Humanity. We had more Habitat homes built in my council district than the entire state of Colorado. But those are the kind of things that I worked on that I felt really good about. All of a sudden, everybody decided, you know, we needed term limited. So I was term limited out in 23. But you know, I wasn't gonna run again. 16 years was a long time. So I, I really felt that we could keep it going. You know, we could keep it going. And I said, uh, I don't wanna be the first person up here. I wanna, I wanna make sure I'm not the last. And now look at how many legislators we have, Latino legislators we have in the State House. Look how many we have on City Council. We have a number, this is the highest number of Latina women that we've ever had on City Council. And I felt good about it because all these years that I've worked to get Latinas, you know, uh, involved in politics, involved in different kind of, uh, you know, business and so forth, I really felt good about it. It made me feel real good. It felt like, well, accomplished, you know. But mission's never over. It's, there's a lot more work to do.